So I'm just sitting down admiring the view. It's rather uh, atmospheric. The sun breaks through the clouds now and again. And it just looks magical. Now, the track I was on, was, uh, it was like it was made by a tracked vehicle. And yeah, it was horrific. So I've managed to get back onto the normal track or path, trail, whatever you want to call it. But I need a breather, having a breather. I had to put the waterproofs on as well because it's been uh, raining now and again. So, a bit of a rest before we carry on. Yeah, it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So, when I was sitting here there for a second, just looking about, it was just the bark on that tree caught my eye. Just incredible. Uh, yeah. Just amazing to look at. And then you've got this uh, kind of tree over here, this old weathered, I take it as dead, tree that's been through the wars again. And it was nice with the sun coming through and kind of hitting it. The backdrop's nothing, you know, spectacular the way the sky is, but yeah, there's just something about it. Just caught my eye. Might make a nice black and white, so I might actually pull the camera out and take a shot of it. Right about here. Now you need to be careful because the, the ground here is really quite spongy with all the moss. Let's see if I can set that up again. So I'm going to take some shots with my new D810. Uh, yeah, I've set up in a vertical composition for this old tree here. There's just something about it catches my eye. Yeah, just its rugged looks. It's just, yeah, when I was sitting there, yeah, it just intrigued me a bit. So, I am setting it up with my Tamron. This is a new 17-35 to 35 lens. I'm going to take the image at f11. I'm in aperture priority. Uh, basically there's some trees at the back there, I'd like to have them pretty sharp as well. Uh, if not, if it was just that tree on its own, I'd probably take it around about, I don't know, f5.6, f8, something like that. So, yeah. Now this is one of the things with this new camera, which I do like, if I switch it into the manual, is it's just a lot easier to, well I find it a lot easier to manually focus on this compared to when I had the Sony and I've got it set up in a, it's actually a five second timer so I'm going to actually jump away because of the, the moss here, it's really soft and the camera is kind of all over the place so I'm going to put it on the shutter and we'll let it do its thing, yeah, I think that'll do the job. Right, wait till you get a look at this. And oh my God, I'm glad to see it. The weather's been kind of, yeah, getting worse. And there's a little bit of uh, kind of drizzle come sleet in the air. But here we are at the Hutchison Memorial Bothy. And just check out the mountains behind. Wow. This is why I like coming up in the winter. It really shows you the scale of basically what you're walking in. And I'm just going to get in this bothy now and probably have a coffee and then see what I'm going to do in regards to yeah, sleeping arrangements. Or if I even decide to go any higher up the, the mountain. This is where you've got to really make a common sense kind of judgment call on the, on the conditions.
So this is the Hutchison Memorial Bothy and what a nice touch, somebody's actually put fairy lights in here running off a couple of batteries but I'll switch them off this now so anybody else coming tonight can get some use out of it I don't think there'll be anybody else to be honest uh, the weather's kind of deteriorating so I'm going to stop in here just quick, grab a bite and then see basically what I'm going to do for sleeping arrangements it's a nice walk. It's a really nice walk in, but it is a long, <laughs> it's a long one. Uh, no. I've got a bridey. My wife got me a nice mince onion bridey, so I'm going to have that just now. Oh. Pooped. Absolutely pooped. So that's me got the tent set up for this evening and it's a Starlight 2 from Robins and it's a tent that I've wanted to try for quite a while actually and yeah I like it so far it's not the lightest tent it's about 2.1 kilograms and I just like the style of it I like the end sections where you've got these metal poles to kind of keep the shape and strengthen it in heavy winds I think it's been tested to about 100 mile an hour in the factory I uh, haven't had it in that, uh, I'd love to see it, see how it held up in weather like that, but I'm enjoying it so far and it's really easy to pitch. Now, I was in the bothy there as well and yeah, there's another person in, so yeah, I'll just come up here and I'll get a shot of, or I'll get use out of the tent tonight and see how it gets on. Another thing I might add is that the fabric they use, it's not like the silk nylon, it's a, uh, it, it doesn't sag. It's like a, yeah, it's like coated, so it doesn't absorb any water at all and start, you know, sagging during the night, which I really like. And also, uh, you shake the water off it and it, obviously, with some nylon, it absorbs some kind of water, so you're carrying a heavier tent out in the morning, whereas with this, it's, yeah, seems to be a bit better in that regard. But the weather, wow, yeah, it's changing. Uh, it's on and off with the rain, so I'm not sure how this camera's coping with it. The foot is just now, and yeah, it's just kind of drizzly. So, I'm going to have a hot chocolate, read a book, or read my book, and probably set an alarm for two o'clock in the morning. We'll get up and see what it's like, see if there's any improvement. I was really like to do an astral shot with the bothy uh, incorporated in it, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, time to get the stove on the go, I think. And then maybe you can go back down into the bothy for a little while. So I'm just back in from taking some photographs with uh, the camera. It's uh, three o'clock in the morning and it's drizzly, drizzly and cloudy. And I thought I would try and get a few shots of the tent lit up like everybody does. So if there's one that's particularly good, or you know, looks okay, I'll put it up in a minute. But I've been comfortable, very nice. I put my winter mat, winter sleeping bag, and I had my supper about six o'clock, and then just off to bed uh, for the two o'clock rise with the alarm. And it's been, yeah, I've been very comfortable, very warm, and the tent's been great. So, as I said, I went out there with the camera, and yeah, just getting a handle on using it in the the dark, playing with the settings, seeing what was good or not. Uh, I think one of the things about that camera is the back or the rear LCD screen, very good for focusing. I would have issues now and again with uh, the older Sony's trying to do that, but yeah, no no such issues with uh, the Nikon. However, I think the new A7 series is a lot better in that regard, and yeah, probably do just as well. Yeah. Nice to go out and try and get something, uh, photography-wise. It's a great location. It's really, really remote and quite dramatic. I wish there'd been a bit more snow. It would have been yeah, something else. If there'd be a bit more snow on a clear night, I think I might come back and try and do that. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do now. And maybe just 
have a little bit of a snooze. I don't think, well, sunrise isn't until half past seven in the morning, so I'm going to have another little nap until then, and then get breakfast and packed, and then we'll have a walk out and see what the scenery is like on the way back to the car. But yeah, so far, great trip, great to get out, and yeah, that's it. Two sleeps to Santa now. So, yeah, I might actually have a coffee, and I'll talk to you again in a minute.